Hi there, Joel here. In this video, I'd like to look closer at the two different kinds of comb filters, and especially Absinthe's Supercomb module. So we'll start by using the a rich oscillator like a saw wave, uh, except we'll generate all harmonics at a flat slope, so we can analyze the shape of the comb filters a bit closer. And we'll also set the spectrogram scale to linear. Now, as you can see, all the harmonics are evenly spaced. So before we actually look at the supercomb module, we can start with the normal comb filter and we'll see what they, what each module has in common. Now, what this comb filter gives us is a series of peaks, which is called the feedback algorithm because the delay is feeding back on itself at the specified frequency so we get quite a ringing rich a rich sound from that uh, positive feedback It can also function on a short impulse as a car plus strong type of synthesis, which would also resemble a pluck string type or a resonating pipe effect. There is another kind of comb filter which doesn't have a feedback loop and it's called the feed forward. which is a much simpler kind, a much softer sounding comb filter. And that's what is included in the Supercomb. As you can see here, the feed forward introduces a series of notches instead of tall peaks. So now we get more of a diminishing of the signal. In a feedback loop we could get nearly an infinite number of delays, but in the feed forward we just get one extra delay tap which has a position adjustment. So this position adjustment is like a phase offset. Essentially we can look at the feed forward comb filter as a delay or a phasing effect. If I now increase the main frequency to around 2 kHz you can see that the position is going to stay relative to that main frequency. Given that it is an exact copy of the signal, you can think of this tone tab as a very powerful way of adding an intonation onto a signal, very similar to modifying an acoustic instrument like uh, the bridge on a violin or the saddle on a guitar string, including where a string is plucked from, whether it's plucked from the end of the string or more towards the middle. That is also something that adds a different intonation. And it is a very strong effect, especially in the raw mode, but I'll talk about the, the tones in a second. The raw mode is a very uh, is a very obvious way of adding that coloration. Now just remember that this tuning is actually a fixed tuning on the whole sound, regardless of what note we're pressing. So when you first apply this Supergo module, you'll find that does color the sound quite a lot and it might be a bit strange but when tweaked a little bit it really does add a nice character especially as a master module so now let's look at the trans setting and this will tune the supercomb frequency to the note input and then we can add an offset per semitone
So here's the difference. Tuning the filter to the oscillator or the note also has a strong impact on the, the actual harmonics in the oscillator. So in this case we have the even harmonics coming through and the, the odd ones have really been diminished. So that's a really uh, simple example of, of the extraordinary tuning capabilities. But you can also tune additional modulations. So if you think the comb filter is a bit predictable, you can also add some non-linear distortion. The wave shaper doesn't tune, but it does still act on the feedback, which can even further enhance the, the harmonic content you get from the, the first comb filter. And there's also frequency shifting, which we can also use as a fixed setting. So tuning the modulator can add some great sidebands and really give some interesting tone there. To really soften the impact of that delay there, we can use the low pass and the high pass settings. So looking at the tones, as I said, the raw tone is quite uh, bright, so we can use that low pass filter to advantage. Here the natural tone has a notch filter. But once the frequency is set, it actually is fixed. It has a camouflaging effect. The resonant tone has a, a low pass filter just above the notch resulting in a softer sound. I imagine that synthetic would be good for adding just some high frequencies in or just an isolated part given that it has two notches.
Now I'll switch back to the fixed frequency. I hope you found this useful. I will look at some more examples of this in future videos, so please stick around. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet, and leave any comments or likes if you enjoyed this. See you next time.